Well, it's not fair then. If the miles are not, if the miles are different, then it's two different records. So that makes sense. I mean, if you, if there's, uh, let's say, 50 miles of difference, that's a uh, child's hurry, that'd be a half a day, <laughs> or three quarters of a day. That's a big, that's a lot of hours, uh, you know, in, in running. But if it's different, miles has to be the same. Which is kind of difficult, to actually, to different route to plan the same exact miles. But uh, records, records are meant to be broken. You know, uh, I was into records, but now I just want to record myself so I can keep going. That's all. <laughs> I'm not really worried about a piece of paper anymore. How did you feel when Frank broke the record across? Ah, oh, it didn't bother me at all. I just uh, once I got in, I was happy. Were you there when he? Broke it? No, I, I, I think I was here in New York, but no, I, I was happy when I broke it and I knew that somebody else would break it. But, because nobody, it was a long time since I made once I did it, a whole lot of people. The only thing that bothered me most, Forrest Gump never asked me permission to run across America. He ran without even telling me. He should have told me. I would have given permission. <laughs>